Hello, I'm Luis Cardenas. I'm one of the field service managers with Isomatic. Today I'm going to be going over the bearing and diagnostic replacement on a GEM and MFI unit and I will be demonstrating it on one of the GEM units today. For the bearing replacement, we're going to first want to start with removing all of the accessories to get to our bearing. The first thing we want to do is remove our hose. We can set that aside. Then we're going to remove the bail clamp and remove the top cover. We're going to go ahead and remove our ice sweep and set that aside and then everything else is just going to come off. Here we already have an evaporator assembly removed so that we can demonstrate this a little bit better. For the top bearing, the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the top cover. This is reverse threading so you're always going to want to have your channel locks to be able to remove this plastic cover. Once we remove the plastic cover, you're gonna be able to see the lithium grease that's installed at the factory so that we can prevent any type of moisture to get into, uh, into the bearing. So for demonstration purposes, we already have a bearing that has been, uh, had failed in the field. As you can see that the bearing has broken down and this is the breaker. So you're gonna be able to see where the bearing seized and all of the damage inside your bearing. Under warranty, the factory is going to recommend going ahead to replace the entire breaker assembly so that you're not having to tear down. If you re uh, need to remove the bearing, if you're trying to do this in the field, you will need to knock it out or use a bearing press, which a lot of times in the field, we're not going to be able to have these tools. Okay. So again, once we have bearing failure, we're going to need to also inspect the auger because the auger can start rubbing up into the evaporator. Lack of maintenance, scale buildup. This unit does not purge any water, so everything is gonna start building down on the bottom, which is gonna affect our water seal and start leaking into our gearbox. So there's two options to be able to remove the breaker. If you remove the top nut, this is gonna allow you to remove the breaker separately. If you do not remove the top nut, then you're gonna remove these four Allen wrenches and this will pull out the entire breaker with the auger. So in the field, you should have a quarter inch Allen wrench and we're gonna be removing our screws and we're gonna have four of these around our breaker. Now what you're gonna run into is from the field, these are gonna be torqued and so they are gonna be very tight. The tip that I like to use, I like to hit it and that's gonna be able to loosen it. That vibration, that jarring action is going to be able to loosen that nut. So at this point, once we removed all our four Allen wrenches, we're gonna be able to lift up and our auger is gonna be able to slide out. Okay, here, you're always gonna to wanna to use your protective gear because this auger is gonna be very sharp. So one thing you can see here is you have a nice smooth auger and for demonstration purposes, obviously this is a new one, but here's one in the field that had the bearing damage, and you can see the score marks of the auger rubbing up into the evaporator. After diagnosing a bad bearing, you are gonna to wanna to remove your breaker. So to do that, we do need to remove the top nut so that the breaker can remove separately from the auger. So we will need to grab our crescent wrench. And a tip, if you wanna sit here and push it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna to wanna to grab the gear motor and start turning it. So you really gotta whack it to be able to loosen it. That jarring action is gonna really allow this nut to come free. I have already loosened up our quarter inch screws here to remove our breaker. And now we have removed our breaker from the auger. At this point, once you get your new breaker, again, as recommended under warranty, you wanna replace the entire breaker so that you're not having to tear it down. And then at this point, we would reinstall it by reversing these steps. <laughs> 